Right, let's muscle up, buttercup. What was I saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going at the start of the video. <laughs> Beep! Uh. <laughs> feel that in the back at all? Go on, push, 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 push. Well, three, two, one. 17, yes, sir. <laughs> Right, we've got a guest today. This is Sean Vlog. You want to yep. check out his vlog? Yep. We will put all links in the description uh, to Sean's vlog. It's pretty cool. He goes to Brazil quite a lot, uh, but all over really, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of travel, a bit of adventure. I like going around Scotland. I like, I do a bit of world stuff as well. And um, yeah, it's basically a channel for all kinds of vlogging, daily life stuff, lifestyle. Nice. Oh, thank you. So you definitely have to check him out. Now there's a special reason we've got Sean here today. Um, again, this is one of our Get Fit for Beginners series. Now, Sean isn't exactly a complete beginner. Tell us a little bit about your fitness history. So I like to try on my own. Basically, I go out and do what I think is right, but it can't be right because it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad you said that. <laughs> I like to tell the truth. <laughs> So today what we're going to do is we're going to take Sean through a series of tests uh, that he can use at a later stage to retest his fitness to make sure that his fitness programs are working. Now what we're going to give for you is you could attempt the exact same test. Now once um, Sean has completed his test, we're also going to prescribe ways that he can develop it further, which you could then take the same equation and apply it to your own test results. Yeah, so everyone likes the, the exercise for beginner series is doing really well, uh, but now we have got a body to put into practice what we are trying to teach. I'm a guinea pig today. You're the guinea pig. Right, let's muscle up, buttercup. Let's get stuck in. Pretty sure that's my line, Mike. <laughs> oh, right. Ish. <laughs> so right. Nope. So you're going to be a thunder there, right? Who's going to Who's going to go first? Uh, so we've just been telling Sean that we've got four tests for him. Combination of um, upper body strength, lower body strength, core strength, and then cardio ability. Uh, and he's wondering if we're going to go easy on him. Hopefully you're going to go easy, mate. I have to really downplay my abilities. We well, don't so, worry, we're not far from help if anything goes wrong. <laughs> we're going to warm them up first and then uh, we'll go through each test. Again, the idea with these tests is he gives it his your best shot, buddy. That's it. Always go for it. The key to fitness um, is progression. Always. Mm -hmm. As long as you're making progress, it's all that matters. So you've just got to know where you're starting from. That's my mistake, I think, because I always try and first thing, just go for it. Run, run, run or whatever. And then I burn myself out after. Yeah. If you make constantly small steps forward, then yeah. it's inevitable that you will succeed. Awesome. Go on to it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Stage one. Warm up. Some body twists, I think. Some body twists. Yep. So from there, Sean, what we'll do is just reaching around, push away, but it's just warming up the torso. Done. Push away. I'm trying to do the sink way. Yeah, boy. Oops, well, you'd be glad you're not wearing a spawn. <laughs> Eyes nice and high. So we'll have to warm it up. Let's push weight down into the heels. Next, we're going to bring in. A lot of people do press ups, but the hands are sort of up here and the elbows come out sort of wider than the shoulders. What we're looking for is more sort of that position there. Okay. So the chest is really proud rather than being there okay. and hunched. So just go from there. Slightly wide with the hands, who does fuck? <laughs> From there, we just drop the chest down. Up again. Just do a few of these just to warm up the knees again. You're going to come up, make sure the hands will be under the chin when you're up. Bring the legs up, weight through the heels. Ah, perfect. Just squeeze the tummy in. So just relax the fingers so the arms aren't too tense. Hey, hey, let me know if you're feeling that in the back at all. Is it alright? It's alright. It's on the gut. Yeah, perfect. It's good. So just a minute. Down, out, in. And a wee jump at the top though. We jump. Oh, we jump at the top. Yep, yep. Down again, just nice and slow. Out, in, and a wee jump. Just give there me one go. more. Feet out slightly further. There we go, that's much better. And then we just hold. 
Right, so the first test we're going to do is the press-ups. So important here is a maximal effort. What we've just been saying to Sean there is we leave the ego at the door. A lot of people will go into press-ups believing that they should be able to do 10, 20, 30, whatever, it doesn't matter. Leave the ego at the door and you can do what you can do. Even if that's just one good full depth press up, at least you know what you can do and then next month you can try and beat it. Yeah. Makes me feel better because like I'm thinking, I don't know what the number is going to be, but it's not going to be high. Well, he's added pressure. <laughs> he says you've got to get at least one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. What I can do. <laughs> Let's do it. Full depth. Good. One. Good. Two. Good solid press ups. Three. Get breathing oxygen in through the nose. There's four. Good, strong. Good, Sean. And again. Go on, Five. push, oh, push, 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 push. Nice. Well, son. <laughs> I think that's a good ah, effort. Good. You went deep on that uh -huh. fifth one, right? I'll call no, that no, five. that was five. I'll call that five. That was good. Five. Good. Because you kept the discipline on that last one and you got there. Got the back just about curved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just in between, okay, just stretch your arms. Behind the back, squeeze the elbows together. Right, next on the cards is core strength. Um, so most people have heard of the plank. We're going to do some plank. Plank uh, action here on the <laughs> So it's maximal effort again. Uh, again, once your knees hit the floor, game's a bogey. The, the other thing with this is if, if Sean's back dips too much, we're going to give you three warnings. On the third time, we're going to ask you to stop. Okay. Because okay, what can happen is the core, once the core starts to weaken, the lower back's going to dip in way too much and it actually puts a lot of pressure on the spine and we want to avoid that. So if it happens once, we'll give you a warning. If it happens twice, we'll give you a second warning. And third time, we say, no, no, your core's had enough. Stop. So what we're wanting is a, a fun and a, and a kind of gut radar, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You wouldn't give me three warnings. <laughs> I fucking deserve three warnings. You get two warnings and a punch in the face. Right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we go. Right, Sean, I'm saving this question for you. So, yeah. what made you start your vlogging? I started vlogging because I was travelling and I wanted to show family where I was in the world. Trying my tips up a wee bit. Can you give me six more seconds? Focus on the breathing. Almost there, buddy. Almost this there. is tough. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezing the core. Go on, Sean. Keep going. <laughs> you done, bro. Well, 108, buddy. 108. Oh. So a minute is a very good sort of really? basic. Yeah. So you've gone beyond that, which is great. Really good. Really, really good. Shifts. It shifts from here onto the back eventually. Once the core fatigues. Yeah. yeah. That's where. Generally, what we say to clients is um, you can let it go into the back a little bit, but don't push it too much on the okay. back. So, you know, let it enough, but then not too much, and yeah. then games a bogey after that, which is basically what happened. Okay, the time has come. I, I will say it's been nice knowing you, Sean. It's been nice. Yeah, it's been brief but nice. So this is a one minute test. Right. And it's as many burpees as you can possibly do in 60 seconds. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to burpees. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> choo -choo. I've, got, I've got a feeling I will be after this as well. I've never done one before. Well, give it your best shot, sir. So again, up, down, fast can, jump in between. I might actually take my shoes off for this because they're a bit slack. Free spirit, why not, right? There we go. Get one with the earth. We've got some subscribers who would like to see your bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. <laughs> and I ain't joking. There we are. Uh, yeah, there's Sean. This is for you, that, Kathy. <laughs> that, that is a funny thing because I know a couple of other YouTubers who get very weird feet messages. Is that, uh... Well, we've, uh, we've had a few. We've got a few actually really nice subscribers, but they just ha they happen to like feet. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, right. here goes. Here's your burpees. Good on this. One, two, three, four, jump, Go on, finish it off. Five seconds. Sixteen, is the one Three, more. two, one. Seventeen. He's Brilliant. Up. How was that, Sean? Very unpleasant. <laughs> Not for the faint-hearted, but it's a really, really great fitness test. The thing is, it does not look hard when I mean, you see someone else doing it. <laughs> 17, fantastic score. Not bad at all, not really bad really at is. all. Right, we've got one more to go. 
I think I need a wee bit of a, a breather, of course. 20 seconds, 30 seconds. <laughs> Full of recover, and then we'll hit the last test. Right, Sean, we're ready for the last test. Just about ready. Nice. Better recovery required over there. Right, leg strength next. Get the quads fired up. We're going to make use of a tree. I need to find my quads first. <laughs> <laughs> now, somewhere. So once again, this is a maximal test. Let's see how long you can last. Do it. What we're looking for is um, thighs at um, 90 degrees, right. so parallel with the floor. Are you timing it? Yep. Right, let's do it. Right, feet out slightly further. There we go, that's much better. And then we just hold. I must say, it's, in terms of strength in my body, I've always been stronger here. On your thighs? Always. Yeah. This will be the test of that. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. <laughs> Funny, whenever, whenever I tell anybody to hold, especially now they've got this very Scottish YouTube channel, they're like, hold, hold, hold. <laughs> Reminds of a certain movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no! <laughs> but don't get your speed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that burns. Some men are longer than others. <laughs> That's the same movie. <laughs> Now, if you were at home, Sean, you could do this against the wall. That burns. Burns did so Ooh. many. Can you at least clear a minute, because that'd be another good standard, sir. Uh, almost there. Come on, Sean. As you cleared one minute, sir. <laughs> one wow. two. Keep going, sir. Well, I did not expect that to be as difficult as it was. I thought my legs were the strong bit. Yeah, excellent. It's a stress position. I need to remember my breathing, because that's what I keep forgetting. Yeah, your muscles can't work without oxygen. Or they can, but not for very long. Right, four tests done. Now, a quick prescription. So Sean can improve on said tests. Brilliant. So, testing is complete. Did very well, Sean. How are you feeling? I feel, I feel actually really good. This is the first time I actually hurt, which must be a good sign. Yeah. Good workout. Yep. So now what we're going to do is uh, prescribe Sean a little workout um, based on a, a very easy formula. Um, so basically what we're going to work off, and now you could do this at home as well, so based on your maximal effort we're going to work off 60%. Now if you were returning to fitness from a high level you could work off 80%, but we're taking this for Get Fit for Beginners, so work off 60%, which is, well for the press-ups that's going to work out as three sets of three etc. But we're going to make something interesting. We're actually going to make a little circuit out of it. So rather than doing sort of well, three is six percent of five. So rather than doing three and then resting and then three and then resting, we're actually going to take all four tests and put them together as a little circuit format for you. Superb. So, so based on Sean's results, you're going to have three press ups. We're going to have 40 seconds of a wall sit, 40 seconds of a plank. Yep. And Burpees. 10. <laughs> 10 burpees. Oh man, that's all right. Suck. Ah, that's gonna suck. You get one minute rest after your burpees, okay. and then we rinse and repeat. So that would be the first couple of weeks of doing it, right? Or, yep. yep. And then what you do is retest probably at the end of the month. Yep. And then based on your new results, roll again with 60%. And when you do the retest, you would push yourself to always your maximum. Yeah. Yep. Always your maximum on the retest. So really, I mean, this is this is one really simple workout. It's gonna take you maybe, um, 10 minutes ish to, to get through three sets of this we could do four sets we could do five sets the main thing is making pro progress throughout the session itself so do it once see how you feel if you think i could work harder then go for a fourth set the next time right once you do that you think oh, i could work harder go for a fifth set okay we can build up like that once you get to five sets you don't really want to do much more than that so then we start to recommend do you know what just increase your numbers because mm. by that point you're a little bit fitter uh, and if you can make progress over the month then when the plane comes to retest, you'll do better. Superb. I'm looking forward to it. There looking forward go. to getting stuck in. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure having you, Sean. It's been really, really good to meet you guys. We've spoke for such a long time online, known these guys for a while, but it's the first time we've met up and actually done something, and it feels good you know, to actually speak to experts. I think that's just the main thing for people who are new to getting fit. Do you know what? I'm going to throw this out there. It's something we've not really talked about, uh, but I'm going to put Sean on the spot here, and I'm going to say we're going to refilm in a month's time. Brilliant. Let's do it. Look forward to it. Excellent. There's a challenge that I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't get out of that. <laughs> and I think we should set up a mini target. Yes. Mini target. Right. When we come to the retest, I want at least 20 press-ups. Right. 20? Damn right. Times by four in a month. 
Jesus. That's good going. What a dick. And I think at least a two minute wall set. Yeah. Okay. Well, who was it? 17 burpees? 17 burpees. Nice. Over a minute. I'm going to call for 25. What 25. a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I changed my mind about these guys. <laughs> Right, so this is the Kilty Coaches and Sean Vlog signing off.